Hello friends. It is almost time for bed. Some of you may have bedtime checklists, so I made one for myself today. Let's see, have I done everything? I washed my face, I brushed my teeth, I have my PJs on, I put my curls up into little alligator clips and a pineapple to protect them. What's left? Oh. I haven't put my books away. I have a lot of favorite books for reading at bedtime, but these books are some of my favorite books about bedtime. Little Bear Dreams, written and illustrated by Paul Schmid. What do little polar bears dream about? Some things make sense, like snowflakes. And others are silly, like cold pizza or curly mustaches. And others are what we all might like to dream about, like this great big hug. Little Bear Dreams by Paul Schmid. Dream Animals, A Bedtime Journey, written and illustrated by Emily Winfield Martin. This book has lots of wonderful creatures in it we might see in our dreams. Boxes, bunnies, elves, and fairies, even a narwhal. Or will a narwhal dive with you beneath the seven seas? And at the end, the author wishes us sweet dreams. Dream Animals, A Bedtime Journey by Emily Winfield Martin. Steam Train, Dream Train, written by Sherry Dusky Rinker and illustrated by Tom Lichtenheld. If your dreams arrive on wheels, they might come on the dream train. I love the rhyming in this book. The hopper's top is open wide, so cargo can be poured inside. The crew hops to it, one and all. They get to work and have a ball. And after a long night of working together, the animals get to rest too. Steam Train, Dream Train, written by Sherry Dusky Rinker and illustrated by Tom Lichtenheld. These people also wrote Good Night, Good Night Construction Site. How do dinosaurs say good night? Written by Jane Yolen and illustrated by Mark Teague. How would a trachodon act at bedtime? Can you see that this dinosaur is demanding another bedtime story? What about an ankylosaurus? Do dinosaurs pitch fits about going to bed, or can they be kind? How do dinosaurs say goodnight? Written by Jane Yolen and illustrated by Mark Teague. Bedtime Bonnet by Nancy Red, illustrated by Neka Myers. This book is about family bedtime hair routines. The narrator, the little girl telling the story, says, in my family, when the sun goes down, our hair goes up. Look, on this page, there are as many ways to care for hair as there are people in the picture. When she's almost ready for bed, she can't find her bedtime bonnet. She looks everywhere for it. She finally finds it in a very silly place. You'll need to read the book to find out where. Now that she has her bedtime bonnet, she can have a good night's sleep and wake up ready for a brand new day. Bedtime Bonnet by Nancy Red, illustrated by Nako Myers. How do you get ready for bed? Do you have a paper list? Is it in your head? Does someone remind you? You might put your hair up at night like the narrator of Bedtime Bonnet, or like me. 
You might read books. Someone might sing to you. You might take medicines or have therapies or do special stretches before bedtime. You might know someone who works at night and needs to go to bed during the day. You might help somebody else get ready for bed. Just like the narrator in the bedtime bonnet, we have as many ways of getting ready for bed as we do people in the world. What we have in common is that we all just want a good sleep and to wake up ready for a brand new day. I hope you get a good sleep tonight, friend. I will say good night, and then I will go put my books away.